All right, <clears throat> special Monday. I am, I'm feeling a little bit bit sick today. I'm feeling lots of acid, so I don't know what to do. I called in sick today at work, so let's make some arguments, shall we? So we have here the TNT's Ultimate Fantasy Draft. If you don't know what this is, this is the draft show that is infamous for Charles Barkley selecting Iverson first. So I'm not here to watch the whole video. You can look at that. There's a link in that in the there's a link in this thread that I'm looking at. And let's see what I what I can make up for it. So we got the rebounder, Charles Barkley. Center, you got Moses Malone, Tim Duncan, James Worthy, Reggie Miller, Allen Iverson. Well the problem is Allen is a bad point guard since he is more of a slasher slash attacker to the paint and you don't really have a good ball distributor in this team yeah we know Tim Duncan is a passer but he is the big fundamental and he is supposed to be doing the rebounds although the front court is very solid with Moses Malone and Tim Duncan he also has big game James as a scorer and Reggie Miller as a as his shooting guard the only problem is who is going to distribute the ball. It's pure offense, but there's no play, real playmaking in this team. Well, if it's Iverson in Denver, then that's a different story. His bench is composed of Jerry Lucas, Dave Collins, Deron Williams, Kevin Durant, Bob Lanier. Again, pure scoring. The only true point guard that Chuck selected here is Deron. And I am... Splabbergasted! How? Why the hell Deron made it into this? Rot into his roster was Chris Paul not in not included? Was Chris Paul exempted? There could have been a lot of there could have been a choice of better point guards either. I mean, Chuck could have chosen Penny Hardaway. It's still a way better pick than Deron. Chuck could have chosen Derrick Rose as a wild card. Still a better pick than Deron. I just... I just don't get the idea. Now, as for... Number one pick. Who could have Chuck pick better than Allen Iverson? Well, there's a lot. There's Jordan, but... That's incredibly hard to tell. And it's gonna ruin all the definition of... This, uh, the roster that we have been accustomed, we have been checking out to. So, next is the big green machine. This is, Ke this is Kevin McHale's team. So, Kevin McHale it did an all Celtics, quote unquote Celtics team. Comprised of Shaquille O'Neal, who is the most least Celtic of all the this Celtic lineup. Kevin Garnett, sure. Larry Bird, John Hondo, Havlicek, rest in peace. Bob Cousy, that's a solid starting five. <laughs> we got the Houdini of Hardcourt. Bob Cousy, who, at least he has a ball handler. We got John Havlicek, who is a, a efficient scorer. We got an attacker on the paint with Kevin Garnett. And Shaq Daddy is going to be the center. Going to provide defense. And of course, Larry Bird, he... In the, in the video, Kevin McHale did a good stat summary of Larry Bird. And I'm not going to question it. The bench, however, let's see. Robert Parrish, good. Tiny Archibald. Uh, could have been could have been Rondo. I believe Rondo is a better pick. Don't at me. Sam Jones is good. Sam Jones is a winning combination. Paul Pierce, nice. Tom has shown. Uh, Tom, Tom Heinsohn, I don't know anything about it, about him. So, I have nothing to comment. If he's going to go for all Celtics, let me look up. Well, in Kevin McHale's defense, 
he could have chosen Bill Russell as a center, but he drafted Larry Bird first, so Bill Russell was drafted by Steve Kerr. That's why Shaq was the big cent was the best better center that he could have chosen. Let me just look it up. Celtics guards. Best Best Celtic guards of all time. Could have done Dennis Johnson. I believe Dennis Johnson is in the list. Could have done Bill Sharman. Yeah. Well, enough about that. Uh, that's Kevin McHale's team. I think it's a solid all Celtics team. The only suspected outlier is Shaq. Shaq isn't known being a Celtic. It's he's a Laker, but he was wearing a Shaq uh, Celtic unit. Shaq's wearing a Celtic uniform during that time, so. Um, it's an outlier. Okay, next, uh, the baby, bo the baby boom daggers. So Reggie Miller drafted Jordan first, and then he assembled. A team comprising of two centers. That's uh, David Rog Robinson and Akeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan, and John Stockton, and his. Bench is Ray Allen, hmm. Jason Kidd, Zoe, Dwayne Wade, and Steve Kerr. Now, the glaring flaw of this team, even though it looks good on paper, is he doesn't have a small forward. So, spacing is an issue. He got two centers clogging up the lane. I believe he said that he wants Hakim to play the power forward. So, that means Charles is going to play the small forward. But, that is... That is a terrible decision. Charles is a terrible three-point shooter. He couldn't space the floor. So, yeah. If we're going to give... We're going to give Reggie Miller some good small forwards. Let's see. <coughs> I believe every good small forwards have been drafted. LeBron was drafted by Steve Kerr. Larry Bird was drafted by McHale. Durant was drafted by Charles Barkley. Irving was drafted by Kenny Smith. Elgin Baylor, I think it was also by Kenny Smith. Scotty Pippen by Steve Kerr, yeah. Could have if Kawhi was available, he could have chosen Kawhi, but Kawhi isn't in the NBA. Oh, he could have chosen Rick Barry as a small forward. So, yeah, could have gone Rick Barry. I don't know if Carmelo was available, but he could have also picked Carmelo in this team. Car Especially in the end game, Baby Dagger put Carmelo as a small forward. You could have chosen Bernard King, yeah. Was Adrian Dantley available in this draft? I don't know. So yeah, uh, great team in on paper, but it lacks the small forward position. Could have chosen, uh, could have replaced Steve Kerr with Rick Barry, and I think it's gonna be way better. Okay, let's go to Super Friends. Uh, Will Chamberlain, Kevin McHale, Dominic Wilkins, Oscar Robertson, Isaiah Thomas, pretty nice. Kevin McHale, good power forward, Kevin Garnett of his time. Dominic Wilkins, great dunker, great attacker, Will Chamberlain. Pretty much an overrated scorer, but he's a good, he's a decent center. Oscar Robertson, the big O, triple doubles all day. And Isaiah Thomas, great defender, great point guard, bad general manager. We got Patrick Ewing, Alex English, Chris Mullin, George Durbin, Chris Weber, Weber bring the deep ends. Good backup center in Ewing. He's got uh, two small forwards, okay. 
Chris in Chris Mullin, Alex English, George Gerbin, shooting guard. I could I think he could have needed another point guard if he has to. He could have or he could have chosen a shooting guard. So he could have chosen Chris Paul as a point guard, as a bench point guard, or Derrick Rose, for that matter. Or if he wants, or if he wants to swap, he could have sub in George Gerbin on the starting lineup, point guard Oscar Robertson, and then you got a bench of Patrick Ewing, Alex English. No, like a race. Uh, uh, I could have gotten Patrick Ewing, Alex English, Isaiah Thomas, shooting guard Tracy McGrady or Vince Carter. Could have gotten Vince Carter and Chris Webber. I think it. I think it's just the lack of a point guard position that detriments this team. Look long express. Okay. So this was the winner of the fantasy draft. Let's see. Hmm. Bill Russell, Karl Malone, Scottie Pippen, Kobe Bryant, Steve Nash. Very nice. LeBron James, Dwight Howard, Dirk Nowitzki. At guard, Dennis Johnson could be. So he's a combo guard. Nice. And Grant Hill. I think the pressure here on Steve was cho choosing Grant Hill. Could have gotten a Tracy McGrady for a small forward. Because this is these are all like the millennial team. We got Kobe Nash, the modern team mixed with a bit of player from the old days. But I don't. Grant Hill is a good teammate to Steve Nash. Very nice in his prime. The problem is. Kobe, Nash, Dwight are part of the bad Laker team in 2012, so they don't have chemistry. Especially Kobe and Dwight. LeBron, I don't think, will agree on being bench. Scotty, is a, Scotty has some ego issues. And if you start... If, and if you have Nash and Nowitzki in the lineup, you're sacrificing defense. But then again, you got Kobe and LeBron. So I believe this is the best team. I think they deserve the win. Yeah, it's the best team. The only issue is there's no chemistry. So chemistry-wise, I like Reggie Miller's team. Except that it just looks good on paper. It has no stretches. And paper-wise, if you're going to see it on front without any chemistry issues. And if you regard it has perfect perfect chemistry then Steve Kerr Steam takes the cake yeah aim high okay so aim high is Kenny Smith Steam Karim Abdul Jabbar Dr. J Elgin Baylor Jerry West and Magic Johnson so very very small lineup could have made a trade Elgin Baylor for who well, I don't think they could, he could make a trade for a power forward. I think the power forward is very who's which power forward wasn't pick. Uh, let's see which power forward wasn't pick. Uh, could have gotten Sean Kemp. I mean, Sean Kemp is way better than Alvin Hayes. I mean, Connie Hawkins. To be honest. He has too many point guards. So, Gary Payton. We got Jerry West, who's also a good point guard. We got Magic Johnson, who's also a good point guard. He took away all good point guards. We got Kenny Smith. So he lacks a power forward in the starting position. 
So we can swap uh, Elgin over Connie Hawkins. And at center, uh, who, which, if he could remove himself and pick a center, he could be Dikembe Motombo. Because, let's be real, there's no real defense on this team except for Gary Payton. And he's on the bench. So it's purely offense, except for Abdul Jabbar. And I think Dikembe could be a, a good backup center for Aim High. Rim protector, yeah. Also, Aim High could have gotten, uh, in instead of Connie Hawkins, he could have gotten Dennis Rodman in the mix. <coughs> Wait a second, Dennis Rodman. Let's go back to the rebounders. Oh, Chuck, you miss... You... Ah, uh, I see the problem now. He could have replaced either David Collins or Bob Lanier for Dennis Rodman in the power forward position as well because his team are the fucking rebounders. We have gotten Dennis Rodman here. So, yeah. So, analysis. Rebounders could have gotten Dennis Rodman instead. Uh, big Green Machine. Uh, I've stated my case about the Celtics. Could have gotten Rondo as... Against Tiny Archibald, I'm sorry, uh, Rondo. Uh, could have got Rick Barry. I mean, wait, that's not the that's not the right team. Yeah, he could have got a Rondo here. So yeah, uh, Baby Boom Daggers. Uh, yeah, this one did. This one has the significant lack of small forwards. Yeah, this one should have been Rick Barry or Bernard King. Uh, so we're friends. The lack of lack of another point guard. So Chris Paul, Chris Paul's a good one. Look long the express. Good up. If they could, he could remove Grant Hill for Tracy McGrady. Very, very nice. And aim high. Uh, yeah. Remove Kenny Smith. Uh, put in uh, the Kembe Motombo as your center. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's my take. End of video.